Liberty football falls at Charleston Southern on Saturday, 31-24. And, Matt, when you look at this game, the inability for Liberty to sustain drives kind of hurt them here tonight. It did. It really did. We saw a number of times where they only I think they only had one or two double-digit drives play-wise. Uh, really disheartening for the offense. I know I saw Josh. He made some comments after the game. He, You know, just execution was not there tonight. One thing we hit on in the radio pregame show was that they needed to sustain a good running offense. The Flames did not do that, only getting 53 yards on 22 carries. Uh, that made them very one-dimensional, which hurt them in the long run. On the flip side, Charleston Southern, a predominantly rushing team, did a great job passing the football here today, which was a big key. Austin Brown had a great game. Austin Brown did have a great game. Pereira and Dinkins, the two receivers for Charleston Southern, also had great games. Uh, we saw our DBs playing uh, different coverages. Uh, Austin Brown just had enough time to find the hole and find his receiver, and Pereira was a lot of those coming across the middle or on the outside. Liberty was in the ball game throughout until the very end where Charleston Southern was able to run out the clock. We caught up with head coach Turner Gill and a quarterback Josh Woodrum after the ball game. Well, first of all, I want to uh, give God the glory. I appreciate God uh, uh, putting us all through this situation. Uh, but again, we're going to give him the glory, and uh, I thank him for all the things that he's doing and what he's going to do for all of our football players, our team, and Liberty Nation. Um, offensively, we struggled pretty much all um, game. Uh, I got to give a lot of credit to their defense. That's why they're the number one in the, in the country in their total defense. Uh, I thought our defense played fairly well there, particularly in the first uh, half. Second half, um, you know, they were able to gain some more things going on and we weren't able to stop them and they made the plays when they had to make them and we didn't make enough plays. You know, they made more plays than we did tonight. Uh, you know, hats off to them, but, uh, you know, when we come in and watch this film tomorrow, all we're going to see is us messing up and them taking advantage of those mistakes. Quick turnaround now for Liberty as they end the regular season at home Thursday against Coastal Carolina. That'll be a fun one. Absolutely. We've been waiting for this Coastal game ever since it got moved to that Thursday. Uh, would love to send them out of the Big South with a loss, especially at home. Always a big physical game. Saw a huge physical game here tonight. These guys need to turn around quickly. It's going to be interesting to see how the coaching staff, training staff, the support staff get these guys back on the right track in a short week. Kickoff in Lynchburg Thursday at 7 o'clock. Our pregame radio coverage coming your way at 5.30. It will be televised nationally on ESPN News. For Matt Camary, I'm Alan York for LibertyFlames.com.